Hey, I'm Dale Wanky from Beaver Valley Woodworking. And I gladly accept a Steve Ramsey from Woodworking for Mere Mortals and Alex Harris, This Woodworks, Build Something from Where You Come From Challenge. Just so happens I'm from Wisconsin. We're known for a lot of things. Our college football team, professional football team out in Green Bay, Chiefs. Well, let me uh, show you my project. Here you are. Yes, wooden cheese coasters. Made out of wood. Looks like cheese. Just looks so good you just want to eat it. So, Wisconsin's also known for beer, which is also a good place to put your beer on your coaster. Well, time to get to the build. The board that I'll be making the coasters out of, I'm going to mill that on and down a half inch thick. Stripping the board down to four and a half inches wide. Cutting the board down to four and a half inch long squares. Using double sided tape to join all six squares. using the 5 16 inch cold bit to make the dimples in the wood. Well when you're making your dimples on your piece of wood I suggest taking a piece of scrap wood of the same species you're working on your project with and test it out on your, the drill press because you're using a router bit into a drill press and a lot of things factor out as far as the quality of the type of dimples you uh, do make in your wood. So, like the feed rate, like how fast you're plunging that router bit into the wood plays a big role as far as the quality of how your dimples play out. Then, plus I was also playing around with the RPM speed on the drill press. And here's a close-up. So as you see, um, balsa wood, it didn't play that much of a factor as far as RPMs, but feed rate played a big part. Plunge it in too fast, you get tear out. Cutting the boards down to five and a half inches long. Cutting the board down to 3 and 3 eighths inches long. Ripping the board down to 1 and 5 eighths inches wide. Putting a half inch round over on the pieces. So I made a mistake on these. I made them a little too long. I guess it's okay. I just had to cut these down to three and a quarter. Added two coats of paint. 
added two coats of spray lacquer. Well, here it is, folks. Finished product. Wooden cheese coasters. I want to thank Steve Ramsey at Woodworking for Mere Mortals and Alex Harris from This Woodworks for putting on such a creative uh, challenge. Great way to get people out in their shops, build something that represents where they came from. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, take care and be creative. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Keek, and beavervalleywoodworking.com. Thanks for watching.